Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and this is a quick video on how you can overclock and control the fans of your NVIDIA GPU in Linux. For this purpose we'll be using a utility called Green with Envy or GWE which can provide you information about your hardware such as temperature, memory usage as well as allow you to control the fan speed and also overclock an NVIDIA GPU. And most importantly this is all done through a GUI. In fact, you could actually consider it to be the Linux equivalent of Afterburner for Windows, which does have similar functionality. Now, before I do go any further, I will just make the point that overclocking your hardware can cause permanent damage to components if you do not have adequate cooling in place. Now, the best case scenario is that your system will just overheat and just turn off, but it is possible to completely brick a GPU, so I would not be held responsible for any damage that may occur from you overclocking your hardware. That being said, Shall we move on to the installation? So for the installation, although it is technically possible to build GWU from source, my recommendation is just install it straight from the, the Flathub page. And it is just simply a matter of clicking install and uh, reboot your system and then you'll be all set up. Now before we actually launch GWE for the first time, we do need to actually enable the overclocking and fan control functionalities as they're not actually enabled by default as they rely on NVIDIA cool bits. Now, NVIDIA cool bits can just be thought of extra pieces of code that allow that enables additional functionality on your GPU, which in our case is, is overclocking the fan control. Now, the way we actually do this is you edit the cool bits in your XORG config file. Now, usually, this is found at uh, root slash etc slash x11, and then the file itself is inside there. Although, depending on distribution, it may be located at a different location or an entirely different file. So if we just open that up, either way, what we need to do is in this section here, the section uh, marked up as device, we need to add this record here, which is options, then you do your tab across, and then cool bits, all in inverted commas, space, and then 12 in inverted commas as well. So once we've done that, it's just a matter of saving it typing in your root password and then rebooting the system. So now we've rebooted the system and applied that setting, we can actually launch the application itself. Now the interface is pretty straightforward and as I mentioned before, it provides you with useful information, so your GPU including your temperature, your memory usage, your driver version, fan speed and so on and so forth. So basically all you need to do is to edit the fan profiles is you need to select a custom profile, click on the little icon here, which looks almost like a pencil, and then from there just set the parameters that you need. Once you've done that, you click save at the bottom. Uh, same again for over, overclock profile, go to new profile, click the pencil, and then from here you can specify how much memory you want to use. And then once again, click save, and then click apply. Now. By default, the interface itself will refresh every three seconds. So what you'll find is any changes you do make will be seen in real time. So basically that's all there is to it really. So I'll just leave you to basically experiment with what your system can handle and just see if you can actually squeeze a little bit more of your hardware. I'll also point out there's an option here to increase the maximum power. So obviously make sure that you've got a power supply that can handle this as well. So with that, it brings this video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, please do leave me a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.